Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked for the function g whose graph is given, state the value of each quantity if it exists. If it does not exist, explain why. So first we have the limit as t approaches zero from the left of g of t. We also have it from the right, and we just have the limit as t approaches zero. So the left and the right, which is denoted by the minus sign and the plus sign, are just the direction in which the function is going as it approaches this value of zero. So as t approaches zero from the left, the function comes to this point, which has a y value of negative one. So the limit is equal to negative one. As we come from the right, it approaches this point with a value of negative two. Therefore, the answer is negative two. And since it does not approach a singular value from the left and the right, the overall limit as t approaches zero dne does not exist. The limit as t approaches 2 from the left, similar thing, t is equal to 2 is right here. As we go to, from the left, we see that it approaches this point right here with a y value of 2. From the right, we go down to this point right here with a y value of 0. And again, since we're not approaching the same value from the left and the right, the limit itself does not exist g of 2 has nothing to do with the limit because the limit is just talking about what the function is approaching as we get closer and closer to 2. It doesn't say anything about when t is actually 2, which is this point right here. We know that because it's a closed circle, which means the function exists there, as opposed to these open circles where the function is going up to it but not actually getting to that point. This point has a y value of 1, therefore g of 2 is equal to 1. And finally, we have the limit as t approaches 4 of g of t. This, we can see from the left and the right, are both approaching this point, meaning the limit does exist at a value of 3.